Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Julia. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. And I'm Karina. We're playing around in Clip Studio today. Ooh. And you can see our faces. And you can see our faces for the first time. We're trying something <laughs> new. Also, this video is sponsored by Clip Studio. Wow. So thank you so much to them for sponsoring us and letting us play around in their fun, cool program that everyone's just been asking us to do anyway. Yeah, it really lined up nicely because I just <laughs> saw like yesterday too, multiple people like, you ever use Clip Studio? Are you gonna use Clip Studio? So yes, many yes. Boy, do we do this have video. some news for you. It's here. It's, it's now. here. It's, it's happening here. now. It's here, it's now, we're doing it. <laughs> so what we did for this video is that we all in our own time made uh, images using the 3D modeler that's in Clip Studio, which is like an amazing tool. And uh, we made an image that we're then going to challenge to another artist on the team to have to try and make a piece off of. Yeah. yeah. Should so, we get into uh, those images? Absolutely. We're gonna show off these sick poses that we made. These uh -huh. prompts, pose prompts. So the first one is made by Julia and for Nathan. Is that correct? Correct, Amundo. I'm gonna take this pose and turn it into a work of art. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> a two-character pose. We got the the sexy pose in the background, yep. and then the Damn. ashamed pose yep. up front because they are Damn. in the supermarket. Here's what like. I discovered <laughs> about the 3D modeling tool. So Clip Studio Paint comes with a bunch of free assets that you can just download, and it's super easy and quick. And I found one that was a convenience store, and I thought it was just the outside of convenience store because <laughs> that's what like the little thumbnail image is of. Um, no, you can really get on in there. <laughs> It's a whole convenience store. It's a whole store. store. So you didn't make this convenience store. I did not make this convenience <laughs> okay, store. Because I, I know that I've done put this that in the past. past you. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's true. I have done things like that in the past, but no, everything here was done in approximately like two minutes, just throwing <laughs> in assets from this program. Um, and I was laughing the entire time because this was <laughs> very fun. It's really good. It really, it really tells a story. And yeah. Nathan, you're going to tell a story. Yeah. yeah. I want to know drawing. more, Nathan. Go on. I will well, say, Nathan, if you yeah. want to ignore all of these individual assets that are in this convenience store, I realize I, I threw know. a lot at you. I've got I've got some ideas already percolating. This is great. Thank you, Julia. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I was, okay. But I also have a style for you to do this in. I was thinking like a cool like graphic novel panel. What do you think? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, why not? Why not? Mm -hmm. Well, that means I can cover up stuff I don't want to draw with word bubbles. <laughs> yeah. That's I pretty love, good. I love some room, but also, you know, do do what you will. I will do what I will. I just want I you will. to play and have fun. I will do what I will. Do it. I will do what I will do. Great. Nathan, yeah, you made a pose. I sure did, and it's gonna be for me to draw. I just want to preface this with saying that Julia exhibited sort of a control over the the body poses that I wasn't able to attain. So mine's more of sort of a nightmare <laughs> image. Good. Let's take a look. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> what? What's happening to this man? Well, Nathan? that's up. That's up for you to decide. But there are what? So I I went into the assets because they got a lot of assets you can download, mm -hmm. and for some reason, like I think because I saw it in the context of assets like motorcycle and cat, <laughs> the asset cube. <laughs> really stood out to me. I was like, oh, I can download Cube. It's versatile. Yep. So this is man and cubes. It is very artsy. It really is. And so you can sort of decide what the cubes represent, what's going on with this man and his shoulder and why his shoulder's doing that. I've actually already got an idea. That's awesome. Wow. So I'm, I'm prepared for this one, actually. I didn't expect it, but... <laughs> There you I think go. I'm going to be able to deliver on this promise. 
And, you know, hands and feet are hard to draw, so I put them inside the cubes. <laughs> Thank you. Only one hand I have to deal with. <laughs> yeah. That's so nice. We don't hide hands in pockets here. No. Only cube. <laughs> also, the, the cool thing about this 3D model is there's like a whole set of sliders for like bulk and muscle definition. Oh. So I really, I really beefed this this guy up. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah, I got some cake. You got to be strong to survive the cubes. Yeah, <laughs> not just anyone can face down cubes like this. Yeah. All right, Nathan, I'm ready for this challenge. Let's see the next one. Yeah. This is one I made for Karina to do, That's and it is it is more akin to Julia's. It's a kind of a vibe piece. Here it is. <laughs> So I wanted oh, to go another with like, foreground background. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. yeah I we was went thinking of similar. like you know the the cocky character in front who lets their guard down because they think they've won, <laughs> and then in the background the the hero you know picking up okay. the forgotten item to okay. to strike the final blow sort of thing. So you already have a scenario in mind. That's what I was thinking okay. when I chose this sort of pose. Because I, I like, saw something so different. I adjusted the lighting <laughs> to make it kind of dramatic, like Ooh. a rim lit, you know, nighttime scene. But you can do whatever you want with it, obviously. I'm just, this is my I process. Will. It it does kind of look like a person in the foreground is is giving sort of a, like, a, I, I don't even know what to do with you <laughs> anymore sort of speech. And they're going to turn around and be surprised by a proposal. <laughs> Oh, oh, it could be that that's too. That's of, so romantic. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> there are a lot of ways you could go with this. I, yeah. Was, yeah. I was seeing a competitive roller derby duo. Okay, Julia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Julia. <laughs> <laughs> totally. That makes sense. That well, makes the most sense. Back, it's like they're on roller skates. Yeah, you can yeah. have roller skates. Yeah, it's, it's re <laughs> reaching down to tie your roller skate lace. Yeah. <laughs> Or it strap. could be that too, Karina. It's up to you. No, yeah. you get low, yeah, yeah, yeah. skating by. Whatever you see, whatever you want to do, I got it. It's gonna be what it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, we got one more to look at. It's Karina's for Julia. Ooh, <laughs> I am ready. Let's see. Oh, wow. oh. <laughs> This I had one? a lot of fun playing with it. Yeah. You can ignore whatever, but I, I ended up doing a pose that I just thought looked cool. It oh. is cool. I love the person in the back. It just kind of, yeah. it's almost like a T pose sort of yeah. going on. Not involved, but also involved. I also just started wow. downloading assets that were free. So that's what the background is. Oh the backgrounds are God. so big. I had a lot of, <laughs> I, I was, it was very complicated to place them, but I kind of liked how this framed the one in the back. Yeah, it's so, it's such a fun composition. <laughs> you but never, you can do whatever. You know, you never think about, like, what about the other Mary Poppinses? Do they, like, have <laughs> Do they battle in the sky? <laughs> this is... Time to find out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is going to be so fun. I can't wait to see what you do with this, Julia. <laughs> the person, yeah, the person planking fun. in the background really... Yeah, you can't take I'm that out. I'm obsessed with that person. <laughs> it's really good. It's like a stiff wind came by and this person in the background is just like, well... Yeah, you can take out the umbrellas, but you can't take out the person in the background. No. <laughs> I am not taking out these umbrellas. Are you kidding me? Do you know how happy I am to not have to draw umbrellas from scratch? <laughs> you what? Yeah, you've done the work already. Yeah, I can just... That's what makes this is so cool. Draw over this. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I really like the posing tool on this. I, I actually found it really easy to use after a second, and I really liked setting up this pose. Yeah, I was yeah. having fun too, like rotating the camera. I'll have to use this more often. Trying to get the best shot and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm very excited that we have this episode because yeah. now, now I can just have a 3D model to pose the way that I want and not yeah. have to go find reference. I can just yeah. make it myself. Exactly. Heck Where yeah. would you find reference for this? <laughs> Nowhere. It would not exist. Umbrella fight. Yeah. <laughs> Google it. Well, I'm going to go work on my drawing, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that's phase yeah. two. We got to go actually do the drawings <sighs> and then we'll be back. It'll be instant for you. 
We'll be back with finished drawings. <laughs> It'll be years for us. It'll be years for us. We'll all have big gray beards. Yeah. <laughs> we might be in different outfits That's, because of time. What? That's highly likely. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye. And we're back just like that in the span of an instant. We've wow. drawn four completed How did I get here. I'm pieces. in a new seat. What? You don't remember? Huh? In that, in that split second, we all drew four completed Clip Studio paint pieces using the poses from earlier. Magic. And now, we're gonna share them all with you what we did. Yeah. Yeah. Nathan, you're up first. Woo. Uh, you got this pose from Julia. <laughs> it's so good. Me. Uh, anything you wanna preface before we jump in? No. Let's all just right. do it. Let's wow. do it. Three, two, one, go. If you'll recall, Julia challenged me to do this in the style of a panel from a, a comic book or a graphic novel. Mm -hmm. oh, so, yeah, uh, yeah I, I spent a lot of time before drawing just trying to come up with uh, the plot and characters <laughs> of this of this story, and uh, and so I I decided I was thinking like who. Who would be on the floor of a bodega? And so I thought cat. Oh. I thought cat. Oh. Hello. I was not expecting this. Whoa. And so I, I had this idea of they're like a couple of like alien cats from like an alien cat planet. Oh my god! Yes, and the the one of them is is wearing their human disguise, and the other one refuses <laughs> to wear their human disguise. Got it. Uh, so that's the that's the scene we're seeing. Wow. <laughs> so they're like, that's, "Look, I'm a bodega cat." Yeah, yeah. basically. <laughs> Um, uh, I mean, there, I put there's a little bit of pressure for me because y'all are all very talented comic illustrator slash writers and so I've I never drawn before I wanted you. to I wanted to come up with some some fun snappy dialogue. Uh, <laughs> oh we got dialogue? Oh. They're gonna be some oh. Yeah, I got to use the um the word bubble tool Ooh. that uh oh, yeah. that yeah. Clip Studio Paint has, which was very cool. I've never been great at drawing word bubbles <laughs> freehand, so they uh, shortcut it for you. Yeah. yeah, but I, I'm uh, I'm inking by the way using their just default. Um, it's the um, the India ink uh, brush pen mm -hmm. wow. right here. It was so chunky. Yeah, it I looks like good. It. I, the line thickness on it is un unreal. <laughs> just like the the sensitivity and the the variation in lines, and also uh, this is a vector layer, so um, just. I, I don't know if I did it right because <laughs> I've never used this program before, but just like, I don't know, it felt really good. So I figured they'd all be wearing, like they just came to Earth and so they just like went to like a like a, one of those tourist shops in Times Square and just got some like tourist clothes. Uh -huh. <laughs> they like, showed up nude. Yeah. <laughs> they showed up as cats. And nude. Yeah. And nude. Nude cats. Um, so yeah, here I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do the colors again, the, um, the, uh, paint bucket tool, very good at, at anti or like avoiding the anti-aliasing. Yeah. Like, and it can close gaps for you in your lines. Yeah. I didn't need to, um, I didn't need to make an action to do these, <laughs> these wow. fills. I just, it just did it. It just wow. did it on it its own. Happened. Yeah. It's so nice. Um, yeah, I was really happy with how the inks turned out. Yeah, I spent, they like, were fun. Having never used this particular uh, brush pen before. And then here for the background, I probably should have done this on a vector layer because I know they have <laughs> um, like cool erase options where you can mm -hmm. just like erase the uh, um, like intersection or like anything past an intersection. Don't worry, you'll see that a lot in mine. <laughs> okay, cool. So Jacob, Jacob demonstrated that. I'm doing it the 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 old, uh, fashioned, the old fashioned making making life harder for myself. Yeah, you can see I I had the uh, I had I had some lines on the wrong layer, so I had to adjust that. <laughs> That's art, baby. Um, That's art, baby. We can't fix everything. Yeah, you you can't fix stupid. <laughs> but you can, can make only it help you so much. <laughs> you can make it a little easier. 
Um, yeah, anytime you see me click away from the uh, the canvas, it's me looking up a tutorial. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time you're using Clip Studio, right? Yes. Yeah, okay, I went cool. in. I went in cold. I I kind of wanted to demonstrate what you can do with this program, knowing basically nothing about it. like coming from if you if you used to digital art on another program how intuitive it is to just like go in cold and then you know if you if you get stuck there are a lot of resources online to look up as well about yeah. how to do stuff for sure uh and then the background i don't i wasn't really sure it was a lot there's a lot in there <laughs> so i'm using the um the blender brush yeah the sort yeah. of fat blender brush to try and do a more sort of painterly background. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. Um, Don't do too much work. That's what I always say. <laughs> I also feel like it would just distract from these two really good characters. Yeah, yeah. I didn't exactly. do too much. I didn't want to overcomplicate the scene. Yeah. So I did, I did this sort of like Great minimalist gosh. color. Oh, it's real good. Little splashies. Yeah. Also knowing that like a fair amount of this was going to get covered up in word bubbles anyway. And then That's yeah, true. I used... Yeah. I used a multiply layer with the um, with the blender brush to do the shading because I I like that in in comics when they have these sort of very dark uh, like line art shading and then a more sort of soft shading from the uh, from the colors. Yeah, it's got a very American comics feel. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is cool. <laughs> Getting used to the uh, text tool here. <laughs> Um, you gotta. <laughs> oh, we got some good dialogue. Yeah, I figured they would have sort of like regular. Uh, yeah, I tried to freehand this word bubble, but then I was like, oh, you can just you can just use the word bubble. Tool. Oh, I see you doing some of the vector adjustments. Yeah, there. yeah, I made the word bubble tool, and then what's cool is you can go in and like make it look like you hand drew it anyway by like thickening certain parts of the lines. Yes, I love that feature. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it doesn't seem too robotic. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. awesome. And Ooh. so I figured they'd have like cat names. So it's, <laughs> it's Mittens, and uh, the other one isn't named in the comic, but in my head, his name is uh, Wiggleby. Wiggleby! <laughs> so this is Mittens and Wiggleby, the alien cats uh, yeah. on Earth. And then I made, I decided I wanted the shirt to be pink. Nathan, this rules. This is fun. Yeah, this is so good. This really looks like it's out of a comic page. Thank you. <laughs> you. You met the brief. I, yeah, you know, absolutely. I, I went. For, I figured I was going first. I should meet. I should meet the brief. Yeah, I threw a lot at you, and I feel like you you handled it so well. Well, I loved. It, it's really nice being able to trace poses. Yes. That's, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> po posing out is something that takes a lot of time for me, and so being able to just go in with a concept and then just focus on the execution was was really nice and. Yeah, this, you know, for, for my first time ever using this program, I think it turned out pretty good. Heck yeah, yeah dude. awesome job, Nathan. I love this. This I'm is so, so fun. I'm so impressed. This weird little cat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it is very New York that no one would care. Yeah. yeah. 100%. They'd be like, oh, new bodega cat dropped. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. I guess I will go next. Ooh. Um, I did Nathan's pose, which was the, the crazy cubes one. <laughs> yes. Cube, cube nightmare. <laughs> cube um, nightmare. <laughs> so I'll just get right into it. Three, two, one, go. Cube nightmare is here. <laughs> <I forgot>. So <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I ended up having a lot of fun with it, okay, actually. Good. Um, yeah, I imagine. It takes me a second to like sort of get where I'm trying to go with it. Um, so this this face doesn't end up staying exactly like this, but I was thinking oh. of like a um, like because the person's being trapped and like devoured by cubes. I was like, this is sort of a, a cyber space yeah. situation. Like this person's yeah. in like the internet, like fighting viruses. It's a series of cubes. Um, <laughs> it's a series of cubes. So I changed the face up here to make it a little wilder, to make it kind of more like cyber like villain like anti-hero sort of mm -hmm. look i wanted to be yeah. more cyberpunk looking and then i made it an elf i thought cyber elf <laughs> cyber, cyber elf, elf. Yeah. cat alien and cyber elf yeah <laughs> it's a friend group for your next tabletop adventure <laughs> yeah cyber elf cyber elf that's free that's, that's free yeah. for that's you free. take anybody that anybody can have that 
and being able to use the um, the contour lines to like choose where I put the nodes and stuff so that they fit the form was like oh, so helpful yeah. for like making it still look like the shape of the, the body, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, which made that a lot easier. And then I felt like he was going to be devoured, being devoured. It's like the leg you see is like coming <gasps> apart. Oh, cool. Whoa. Since the leg was stretched crazy anyway, <laughs> yeah. I was like, maybe it's being stretched out and like digitized. Um, so I started inking with a a uh, ink brush pen sort of thing, mm-hmm. and then I decided not to do that, and I changed <laughs> to a this brush called the Millie pen. I wanted to have kind of a consistent line weight, um, like anime cell yeah. sort of yeah. look. Um, Looks like a like a ballpoint pen sort of thing. Yeah, and Ooh. I just enjoyed the sort of consistency of that. I thought it was fun, and this is like Nathan said, a vector layer. So you'll see me deleting all the exterior lines oh. in a single click and all the overlapping lines. That's amazing. Because the vector eraser, you can just click and it'll erase the line up until it intersects with another line. And it was just so fast <laughs> for like inking. Uh, it, it blew my mind, the speed at which I could do stuff. Yeah. Yes. And I was really enjoying the brush too. Like it's a consistent weight, but it still sometimes gets a little thinner. Like if you move really fast. Mm-hmm. It just has like a very low level of uh, variation, um, but I thought it was still cool to use. Look at them. They just go, bip, bip, bip. that's so satisfying. <laughs> yeah. It just makes everything so much faster. Yes. To not have to be concerned about it. And then also because you're making it a vector layer, you can just change the line width later. Yeah, if you want to. Oh, we got um, some uh, Right here, some I, was, reference. I was messing with, the like color eyes. There's a beta feature called color eyes where it will like automatically fill in colors. Oh yeah. Oh. Um, and I was messing with that a little bit. Uh, ended up not using it just cause I just wanted to see like how it worked. I don't think I quite did it right, but it was fun to play with. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, then I'm making all of the cubes. <laughs> and I gotta just, make the cubes. Adjust the lines <laughs> there you see. They are there. Yeah, I gave you a tangent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Handed yeah. you a tangent. <laughs> Had to fix that. Yeah. Um, then I'm just flatting in some colors for the foreground and the all the vector line features are really what I played with the most during this. So you'll see me using a lot of that during like the cube phase as well. Um, yeah. Jacob's cube phase. The cube phase. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. it's your cube era. Yeah, you'll, you'll see when I get to it. Um, I love these colors, by the way. Yeah, they're super Very nice. Cool. They'll all be different. Well, Very cool. Um, <laughs> love that. Well, just like with the lighting and stuff, once I get the lighting in. That's a nice base you have. So right here, I was experimenting with vector line shifting things. What I end up doing is getting all of the vector lines and then manually adjusting the brush size on them because I wanted to have like a glowy sort of (gasps) effect. Oh, So it it took me a minute to get it exactly right. I was trying out different ways to go about it. Um, (laughs) But eventually I realized I could just use the entire vector layer and adjust it all at once. So I didn't even have to select. Um, so I was able to make all of the lines red, and then I duplicated the vector layer and set it to airbrush and put it underneath oh. to wow. create a, a glow effect, Holy which, cow. which worked really well. It's like a neon effect. Yeah. yeah. Uh, here's where I, I do a cheat. I get oh. a, a stock photo that I manipulate okay. um, for uh-huh. the background because I wanted like sort of a grid, internet grid background. Yeah. yeah. So I just do some like color shifting on that to make it sort of match what I'm looking for. Oh my goodness. And then I add like a cool gradient that gives it like a neon cyberpunk <laughs> aesthetic. Jacob, this is zany. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty wacky. You <laughs> took this nonsense that I gave you and made it so cool. Yeah. Yeah, I was really happy. I was having a lot of fun with it. Um, for the shading, I'm using the watercolor, the opaque watercolor brush which i really liked it was like you could do a lot with it like it Mm -hmm, it came out really light or really heavy depending on how you did it and um now you'll see me doing the vector thing again where i changed the lines to be uh white and adjust to get like sort of a so you can see that's like the corrupted area yeah oh yeah jacob so a lot of the tools i was having a lot of fun with the corrupted by the cube (laughs) <laughs> then it's just a lot of rim lighting. You know when you get corrupted by the cube? Yeah. Your face when you get corrupted by the cube. We all hate that. Your lines become white, and then you start to 
disintegrate into yeah. little bits. <laughs> you know, we've all been there. Yeah, yeah we've all been there. <laughs> uh, then I wanted to make all the yellow bits <gasps> oh, glow. Oh, wow. Jacob. And then I changed the lines on those <laughs> to be a lighter yellow to kind of be like, you know, these are like the, the cyber elf's own power trying to combat the cubes. <laughs> and, uh, oh, yes. And he's cyber losing. Elf. <laughs> does Cyber Elf have a name? Cyber Elf does not have a name. I just kept thinking of him as the Cyber Elf. <laughs> it's just the Cyber Elf. He has a title. Yeah. And I was so conflicted about whether this was like a villain shot of like the villain is finally being defeated or like a, a hero, anti hero type where you're like, will he pull through? Mm. Um, I'm using some of the like. Um, soft uh like there's like a soft circle brush and one mm, that has like yeah. speckles to make it look like there's universes inside the cubes oh yeah um, Jacob. yeah and that's that's the end of it it was like super wow. fun so cool this, this rules this is super neat this is better than anything i could have imagined from the prompt <laughs> i gave you <laughs> from cu the cube disaster from the cu <laughs> cube disaster <laughs> But yeah, it was a lot of fun. Thank you for the pose, Nathan. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Even if Cyber so Elf cool. is not enjoying yeah, it. Yeah, Cyber Elf says no Rip thank Cyber you. Cyber Elf. <laughs> yeah. Or not. Maybe he pulls through. We don't know. Yeah, maybe he reconstitutes later. Maybe yeah. he has more copies of himself somewhere. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. All right, Karina, you're up next. I'm up next. I did your pose. The Yes. This is a fighty looking one. Yeah, dramatic fighty looking yeah. one. Yeah. Shall we go for it? Let's go for it. All right. Three, two, one, go. So I kind of approached this very head empty. I kind of wasn't sure where I was going with it at first, but um, what I do in my downtime all the time is basically just sit around and read Korean webtoons. So I guess that's what I was feeling. Oh, yeah. When I did this, and um, I, I've also had magical girls on the mind so i wanted it to be some some magical girls <laughs> yes <Amazing. laughs> i love the direction already and um so i did i i messed around with the program before i started this drawing because i've been really excited to try clip studio paint because i always see such cool things about them online so um Basically, what I immediately did was download just a bunch of brushes and other assets <laughs> from like the Clip Studio online stuff with all like user made ones and ones that they made. So a lot of what I'm using are just ones that I downloaded. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I didn't even really look into that. Yeah, there's so much stuff. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. I love it's stuff. a lot of stuff. And um, yeah, so. Uh, I think I think my concept here is that this is like a magical girl duo, but but she's like the the mean evil one, like she she's demon themed, <gasps> and she got a little buddy, a little buddy. Uh, and then the other one is like angel themed, and she's the nice one. Oh yeah, <laughs> and they have a rivalry, but then they become BFFs. Oh, of course they do, <laughs> because we love to see it. Yeah, I oh, love to see cute. this friend. <laughs> That's a good friend. And I was like, yeah, let's just design another complicated dress, Karina. You love to see it. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, you didn't have to think about the pose. So yeah, yeah. So make something complicated. I'm just like, well, the pose is already done. So let's just go buck wild on the rest of it. Yeah. These um, lines look so nice. Yeah. I mean, admittedly, I didn't change too much. I'm such a stickler for my process. I do not mind making my life harder. So these are just like my, the usual way that I do my inks. Um, and I was using a pen that I downloaded <laughs> from uh, the user made assets. Um, but yeah, so I kind of went about this the, the way I'm used to doing, but it was still just like really cool to try out new things yeah well that's cool that like the, the real the real meat of it is um when i start doing the color and stuff oh, yeah. i'm so excited <laughs> yeah. i love the meat it's awesome that they had a ink uh, or a pen that like matched your what you're used yeah. to like the, i tried a lot of different it. ones and there's just like so many different kinds i i downloaded a bunch that were like really tapery and uh gritty but for this one i kind of just wanted to keep it a bit smoother because again i was i was trying to go for like a 
kind of cool, full color, comic-y style. So I was yeah. like, okay, not not too not too gritty. Yeah. Yet. I love these dress I, ruffles. I, I was tweaking around the poses, so I traced the hands because you know, you know how hands That's are. That's a free hand. That's it's a free, a free hand, hand right yeah. but I, I did have to like move it, and then I just. Uh, I, I used the very easy fill thing to kind of mask everything in just so I could like have everything like the little bits that aren't like filled in and anti-aliasing, whatever, et cetera. And then I just easily flatted. Oh, yeah. wow. Viewers may know that I usually yeah. spend forever doing my flats because yeah. I paint it all in. You but blob it in. Yeah. I've never seen you flat so fast. <laughs> yeah. I'm already done. <laughs> That's incredible. Because there's all, like the fill bucket's just really, because it's really good at like filling in everything. And then there's just other like settings on it where it's just like, oh, you can just um, fill in stuff that hasn't already been done. And then I kind of wasn't sure how to color this because I didn't have any foresight coming into this. So I decided to just kind of like paint it section by section using a watercolor brush. I think it's another one I downloaded. So uh, I wanted it to be kind of painty and look very anime. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah, I really, I really wanted to do like wow. full watercolor, but there's just like so much stuff that I, I didn't really have enough time to with this piece. So I just used a pretty like blocky one. Oh, it's so pretty looking. Yeah, it's yeah. really nice. And and like a equally blocky uh, blender to make it nice and painty. Just get it all in there. Oh, it looks great. It's lovely. Thank you. I love the, the soft shadows versus the hard shadows. It looks yeah. so good. Combined, yeah, it was, it's such a good contrast. It was so gentle <laughs> to do. Yeah. I really enjoyed doing it. So, yeah, and it was just kind of eyeballing everything. Um, I didn't I didn't play around too much with, like, color palettes and stuff, but I did set up my thing differently, so I had my color history for when oh. I constantly oh, like lose the oh, colors. Yeah. That I, I Got your drop. swatches right there. That's so smart. Yeah. I'm always having that problem. <laughs> yeah. One but, of the first things I did was just move everything around because I know what I use. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love this like blue turquoise shading. Thank you. On the yellow Okay, dress. so I actually did this off camera, but I set up a perspective ruler just to kind of uh, mess up or uh, mess around and like figure out the background because I famously don't enjoy doing backgrounds. So I was trying to just trying to figure out what I wanted with this at first. Yeah. And I decided to change it into a rooftop. So I very quickly downloaded a fence brush. Oh, nice. <laughs> and, wow. And, um, and then I just smacked one of the pre-made backgrounds onto behind that. Oh yeah, I love a pre-made. Um just was that pre-made with thing. with Clip Studio? Yeah, like it was, That's it awesome. was there when I when I opened the program. <laughs> it was there amazing. waiting for you. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just mess around with this. I shifted the whole thing down because it I I, I don't know. And then I just added in <laughs> some extra lighting. And this one I also, I started off doing it like cell shading, but then I also just ended up blending it in because I thought it looked kind of nice and everything yeah. else was a little blended. So I was like, yeah, let's blend it. Let's blend it. And then just lit everything, rim light. And then speech I wanted bubs. to do some speech buffs. Um, and I have fun oh. figuring those out. And I think these speech bubs are also ones that I downloaded. <laughs> yeah. I was just downloading all these things because a lot of them are free. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just add in some effects and um, yeah, and more more pre-made assets. And yeah, those wow, are my magical awesome. girls. Holy cow. Rivals to lovers. <laughs> Slow so burn. Cool. <laughs> I like how so far I've seen like new stuff in each of yours. And yeah. I was like, oh, next time I want to play with that. Yeah. yeah. Like the, there's so many things that I want to play with that I didn't get to in this one, but that's okay. <laughs> that's Man, awesome. This, this looks, looks so good. <laughs> yeah. I love the you. little friend's eyes. The red, <laughs> the shading on it's so good. Yeah. That was very lucky. <laughs> it's just, I mean, it's partly just the brush because it was so nice and soft. Yeah. Like like well, you say, used it well. Digital art, <laughs> it just does it for you. You don't even have to yeah. know how to draw. Just click the art button. <laughs> just click the art button. <laughs> <laughs> All wow. right. This well, rules. Thank you. Julia, you're you're up last. Hey. Me. <laughs> Anything you want to say before we get into it? Um, I get, well, no. Just going to <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. 
go. Oh, yeah. this one. So yeah. I also went into this very head empty. I <laughs> didn't have a lot of time to be able to work on this. So I was learning how to use the program as I drew this, just like <laughs> how you saw me work on other programs for the first time. <laughs> uh, so I was really figuring out kind of how it works. And I didn't watch any videos before this. I watched a little bit of a tutorial that Jacob showed me before just to show off how vector lines do, but that was it. Uh, I basically just stuck to my usual process, but it was a lot faster because the pose was already done for me. Sure. Yeah, that'll save some time. Yeah. That'll save me some time. And then around now, I had decided that the story for this was that they were umbrella salesmen <laughs> <laughs> that got kicked out of the building that they were in. Oh, my God. And that this would be a, a manga. <laughs> They got kicked out so hard. So I decided to turn this into the the front uh, spine and back of a manga. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> yeah. So you see me kind of just uh, make it stuff up on the fly like the theme, but I was using this amazing four effect line brush, which when you draw it and your pen's still down, looks like one thick line, but it automatically tapers it for you yeah. so that you get this really nice control. Uh, so I'm flipping between like the brushes and the 4FX pen. Um, That's cool. To kind of get, you know, that, that thickness and thinness. <laughs> I love this back character. <laughs> I decided that this was like the stoic friend of the trio. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like these three are friends. I'm glad the back character is such a hit. I just want to note that um, this guy in the back who's just like standing there. I got that from like a fight scene from an anime where someone gets like hit and they just plank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you saw me using the uh, vector tool to try to thin out that line because it was too thick for a background character. I had no idea what I wanted this person's face to look like. So you see me rotating the canvas a lot, playing around with the facial expression. It's a good face. Thanks. I don't keep it. <laughs> then We're I realized that that faces. was a little similar to the person on the right, but I, I do like it, so I think I keep it. Um, it hasn't rained in this city for 30 years. <laughs> no. What are you doing selling umbrellas? We're in a desert. Fool. Get out. <laughs> so they get kicked out so hard that they just go flying through the air. But um, yeah, I'm just figuring it out as I go, playing around with these lines. It was super quick to do the lines. Oh, I do change it. <laughs> you don't even remember what you did. I don't, I don't know. know what I did. <laughs> yeah, I really couldn't decide on what I wanted her face to be. <laughs> so I just kind of feel it out. Where will it land? Uh, not even I know, and this is my piece. <laughs> and they've all been good. Uh, so cool. So I decided that it was if it was the cover of a manga that I didn't want to do too much background. Mm. So I do wind up ignoring your background. I'm sorry. No, no. I, I <laughs> felt bad throwing that in there. <laughs> it was a fun suggestion. It's a bit much. <laughs> so I have their business cards flying around. Oh. Wow. Where's um, the cubes, though? I'm confused. Uh, ooh, No cubes in this no world. No cubes? Jacob. I know. I don't understand. So I decided that this <laughs> manga's title is Forecast Says Rain. <laughs> yeah. And it's about a bunch of... Uh, umbrella salespeople that can't sell umbrellas. I put my own name in there. It's a slice of life. It's a slice of life. <laughs> <laughs> it's just they can't find anyone to buy these dang umbrellas. So yeah, their their business cards are flying everywhere. I'm playing with some of the uh, yeah that, that Ooh, yeah cross hatching and some of the effect tools that they have. Like they have brushes that are like a ribbon. Ooh. and things like that. So I was playing with the, the cross hatching here just to give it some of that like manga panel-esque shading, yeah. even though it's a cover. Yeah, I was really enjoying it. It's a little hard to see while it's red, but you'll see once I... You didn't have to draw each of those hatching lines. Oh, I would have. <laughs> <laughs> I would have, and I didn't have the time for it. We know, we know. <laughs> we've we've I, seen it. I don't want you to draw the individual lines. Yeah. You don't have to. Wow. What? Oh, God. That guy in the back is just so clearly the fan favorite. Yeah. Yes. He's, he's my favorite. Oh, this is fun. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, and <laughs> we all know that uh, the style that I'm the most uncomfortable with is this sort of traditional, like, soft manga oh, yeah. or anime style. <laughs> Ooh, oh, yeah. what brush is this? This is the, the wet wash watercolor. Oh, the brush. brushes in, in this are so good. Yeah. yeah, this was just, the brushes I'm using are the ones that came with the program. I didn't download yeah. anything. Uh, yeah, and it's it's really nice how it works because it works like a real watercolor where you know the more the more you keep pushing it, like the thinner it gets, and it just uh, it just like bleeds out and it's really really nice. Yeah. Realized I forgot that bag leg. Sorry. <laughs> how dare? Sorry, lady. Uh, but yeah, I was really enjoying the texture of that that wet wash brush. You see me use it a lot. Here's me using just the fill bucket for background character. <laughs> Foreground of my heart. Yep. <laughs> That's what it should have been called. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just trying to block everything in so that I can play with the textures and bring back that, the, you know, the cross hatching and things like that. There's such nice texture on that watercolor brush. I know. It's just, they're so good. It's the right amount of tooth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah. I like the, the combo too when you had like the watercolor and the cross hatching I don't know if you bring the hatching back I do okay yeah I thought that looked really cool <laughs> yeah I just got rid of it so that I can use the fill bucket because the fill bucket is so good about closing gaps that if I tried to use it while the cross hatching was there it would have been yeah oh yeah well, that would be a, a logistical nightmare for yours truly yep there it is Yay. brought it back for a second yeah, and then love I realized it. I forgot some umbrellas. I wanted to push back the characters in the back. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Oh, this I'd see this cover <laughs> in the in the comic book shop and be like, ooh, what's ooh, this that about? That's fun. Umbrellas? No way. Yeah, neat. Something that I realized too with the cross hatching is that you can change the pattern of it after the fact. Oh, of course. So you I can. did that a little bit. But no. yeah, this is my this is my piece. Oh, I love the the concentric circles. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank oh, yeah. you. This is so cool. Yeah, it's so like out of character for you to do just like a really fun one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not a very serious one. Yeah, it doesn't have Damn. a hidden darkness to it. <laughs> yeah, it, it They're might. just getting kicked out. I just wanted this this <laughs> we'll trio friend group to be on their adventures trying to sell some umbrellas. <laughs> Umbrella seller. Yeah. The umbrella seller. Well, these, yeah. These were so much fun. <laughs> I love all of these. Yeah. Thank you so much to Clip Studio for sponsoring this video and yes. letting us play around in their program and again giving us an excuse to finally get into it because everyone's <laughs> been asking us to do it. I'm definitely gonna try some more stuff. Same. Yeah. Yeah, me too. It made me really excited about using the platform more. So Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Clip Studio. Thank you, Clip Studio. Thank you, Clip Studio. The cool part about it, too, is that you can use it on your computer. You can use it on your phone. You can use it on your iPad. It's like on all of your you know, preferred devices, basically. So it's however wherever. you like to do art, yes. it's there. Wherever you want to do it. And uh, they often have uh, sales that you can also get your first three months free. So... Why not? Give just it give a it, try. Yeah. Give it a go. It's what amazing. Are you, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Just go do it. Yeah. Come on. I'm terrified of trying new things, and I did it. So yeah, what's your you excuse? Go. There you go. There you go. Well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode. <laughs> if you liked it, hit the like. If you subscribed it, hit the subscribe. Yes. If you like us, go to our Patreon and check that out. Mm-hmm. Or go to our merch store and check that out. We got some fun merch in there. Some even, you know, all sorts. You never, you never know what you're going to find. You never know what you're going to find. What you're going to find. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. We're sorry. 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 sorry.